Here I am installing the signal lights in the back of my truck. Uh, as you can see, I got my little creeper cart with pillows to make it easier for myself. I'm testing out the lights, make sure they're working just fine before I begin to work on them. I don't want to put them on and then realize that it's not working. As you can see here, they're just the signal lights that I use for my clearance cab lights on my truck. And as you can see, they're outside. I just, all I did was just poke a hole through the metal and make sure it was waterproof. As you can see, I put black tape around it and put the wire through the holes of the back of the truck. Make sure I did it nice and neat. The white wire and the yellow wire goes to the left and the green wire to the white wire goes to the right. Now, as you can see, I tightened up everything to make sure everything was nice and tight. Um, I did it on the left, right hand side too, also just to give you a quick glimpse and as you can see I tied it up together white with white yellow with yellow and brown with brown and green with green now the only reason here white and black was because on my truck is white and black but on other ones it should be white as well as the one you have in, in your truck this is how no it normally looks First, we have the green, which is gonna go to the right. This is the on the drive on the passenger side. Then this one, the yellow, will be going to the driver's side. The brown is your brake, the brake, and then the white is the neutral. But on my truck, it was black, so you gotta give a take on that one. But that's how it basically works. Now, here's how it looks when it's all nice and neat. You don't want to leave it dangling too much. Now, I could have just got power from my tail light, but there's a law of how fast your blinker should move. Here, I'm going to remove the tailgate cap off my truck. This was an easy procedure. All I have to do is get my T30 and my ratchet, and I just remove the screws off the cap. Now, what you got to do is go gentle. Don't try to force them out. If they're not coming out smoothly, just break some WD-40 and I'm pretty sure they'll come out. As you can see, it was easy enough. Only you need four screws and they're inside these holes. Now make sure you keep it all nice and neat. The rubber on the edge, keep it on there unless you have new rubber for it. And also you might want to clean it because you're not going to be able to clean it after you put the cap on and it's been there for years like that. So just give it a nice little wash just to give it a nice smooth finish here I'm gonna take off the grill off my truck with my 516 nut driver now the washers and bolts and nuts are easy to take off the nuts are on the top and the bolts are on the bottom and that's the only thing holding down this grill and voila here it comes now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this grill and this tail gate cap a nice little washing nice little uh, just soap and water just for you to clean the front of the truck where the grill goes you don't want to clean the grill and then put it on a dirty surface it's not really recommended and what i also will suggest for you to do is get a little sanding grinding pad or something and scuff up the uh, uh, the tailgate cap and a little bit of the grill of the truck don't go too crazy just scuff up a little bit just for the paint so it has something to stick on as you can see i'm going to paint the grill black again uh, it's just to make it nice and clean and it was looking gray as you can tell and I'm just going to use the paint to give it more life now as you can see I had this wood that's under the grill that's just so I could protect the grass from getting paint on it and also I put glue tape on the emblem of the Dodge Ram to make sure that it didn't get painted on now make sure you get every nook and cranny now the grill and the plastic in it and also the tailgate cap is going to suck up the paint you're going to have to give it about two three coats to make sure you really got every nook and cranny and after that it should look nice and, and here is the final results of the work 
as you can see the tailgate looks a lot better it looks brand new and the, also the grill looks brand new it doesn't look gray anymore now here I'm going to install a photo cell for my cab lights the photo cell is just so it will turn on at night and not during the day it comes uh, factory with other trucks but mine didn't come with cab lights so I had to install it now here is a connector for my switch so I can have somewhere to connect it in and as you can see that's the little 12 volt switch now this photo cell is to control the clearance lights of my truck so whenever it gets dark it will turn on but I also have a switch so whenever I want to go incognito at night you know turn them off whenever I'm trying to go somewhere in case I want to sneak in or something like that when I want to get home I can have the option to turn it off here's the diagram here's the car battery the positive and the negative now the positive line is going to attach to the switch now from the switch you're going to go take the black to the photo cell the photo cell has a white wire which is the neutral wire that's going to uh, tie into your negative wire of the battery and also the negative uh, uh, wire coming from the clearance lights the cab lights and the red wire that's leaving the photo cell that's going to go to your power uh, line going to the clearance lights and that's how basically this whole setup in my truck is going to work and whenever if I don't want to use it like I said I have the switch to turn it off uh, I might do something else with it later on but right now for right now I'm gonna leave the switch on there just in case and I attach my switch and my photo cell to the pillar of my front driver door